Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that if t is a variable parameter, prove that x is equal to a by 2 into t plus 1 by t the whole and y is equal to a by 2 into t minus 1 by t the whole lies on a fixed hyperbola. What is the value of the eccentricity of the hyperbola? Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. Now the standard equation of the hyperbola is x squared over a square minus y square over b square is equal to 1 where a and b are the constants and where 2a is the length of the transverse axis and 2b is the length of conjugate axis. And in rectangular hyperbola, length of transverse axis is equal to the length of conjugate axis that is 2a is equal to 2b which means a is equal to b therefore equation of the rectangular hyperbola That is, by putting b is equal to a in the equation of hyperbola is given by x square minus y square is equal to a square. Now, this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now, we will start with the solution. Now, in the question which is given that t is the variable parameter, so we have to prove that this point x, y lies on a fixed hyperbola and we have to find the value of the eccentricity of the hyperbola. Now given x is equal to a by 2 into t plus 1 by t the whole and y is equal to a by 2 into t minus 1 by t the whole. Now this implies x by a is equal to 1 by 2 into t plus 1 by t the whole and y by a is equal to 1 by 2 into t minus 1 by t the whole. This further implies x square by a square is equal to 1 by 4 into t plus 1 by t whole square and y square by a square is equal to 1 by 4 into t minus 1 by t whole square. Now, x square over a square minus y square over a square is equal to now putting the values of x square over a square and y square over a square this will be 1 by 4 into t plus 1 by t whole square minus 1 by 4 into t minus 1 by t whole square. Now taking 1 by 4 common, it will be 1 by 4 into now t plus 1 by t whole square will be t square plus 1 by t square plus 2 and here t minus 1 by t whole square will be equal to t square plus 1 by t square minus 2 and this will be equal to minus t square minus 1 by t square plus 2 the whole. Now these terms are cancelled with each other. So this is equal to 1 by 4 into 4 which is equal to 1. Therefore, 
x square over a square minus y square over a square is equal to 1 implies x square minus y square is equal to a square. Now we know that equation of the rectangular hyperbola is x square minus y square is equal to a square. Now let's this be equation number 1. So we can write equation number 1 represents a rectangular hyperbola for all values of t and where t is the variable parameter so for the point x, y, we are getting the equation as x square minus y square is equal to a square, which is the equation of a rectangular hyperbola. That is, for this point, where x and y is given to us, we are getting an equation of a rectangular hyperbola. Hence, the given point lies on a fixed hyperbola for all values of t. Now if E is the eccentricity of the given hyperbola which is given by this equation then E square is equal to 1 plus Conjugate axis over transverse axis whole square. Now conjugate axis is equal to 2b and transverse axis is equal to 2a. So on solving this we get e square is equal to 1 plus b square over a square which further gives b square is equal to a square into e square minus 1 the whole. And here for case of hyperbola the eccentricity e is greater than 1. Now, b square is equal to a square into e square minus 1 the whole. But we are getting a rectangular hyperbola in which a is equal to b. Therefore, putting b is equal to a in this equation, we have a square is equal to a square into e square minus 1 the whole which implies a square over a square is equal to e square minus 1 which implies 1 is equal to e square minus 1 this further gives e square is equal to 1 plus 1 which is 2 and this implies e is equal to root 2 as e is greater than 1 for the case of hyperbola Therefore, e is equal to minus root 2 is not taken. Hence, the eccentricity e of this rectangular hyperbola is equal to root 2. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.